Hello, I am Dr. Gokul Kannan, endodontist from Tirchi. I graduated MDS from Government Dental College, Chennai. I am practicing endodontics for more than 9 years and I have been using this mother's dental product for more than 7 years, from right from 2014. And this works well in highly curved canals, that is any canal with more than 20 degree curvature is highly curved canal. So in those canals, these files works very good. And especially in the third molar, I used to finish with uh, straight away with the file system because hand files we can't use, especially the chance of slippage is more in case of third molar. So in those cases, I straight away use the chance of breakage is very less. And also you can use this file for more than 8 to 10 cases because these alloys are made of twin alloys, that is monal alloy and ion tech, both based alloys. So these alloys works very good, it won't, it never breaks easily. And also it contains uh, titan dioxide coated files because these are controlled memory files especially. So this chance of breakage is very very less. And they are having range of uh, file systems that you can use depending upon your convenience. That is right from a single file system, flexor 1. You can use only one file for per canal and you can finish it off. And uh, three file system called flexor trios. And flexor hybrid files like, uh, like a normal six file system you can use it. And flexor unique is also there, you can go for, if you want to use reciprocation system, you can go for flexor unique. And they are also having products from in conservative dentistry, ranging from bonding agents, dual cure composite, nano hybrid composites, and packable composites, flowable composites, and also even ortho composites also available. So all these composites also, they are curing time and everything is very convenient for us. So this is a nice product both in conservative dentistry and endodontics. So you can try. I hope this will be good for your practice also. So please try. Thank you. Hi everyone. I am going to do a root canal case of third molar. Uh, it's a left mandibular molar. It's a third molar. Since there is no seven, we are use, going to use this third molar as abutment. So no way we have to save the third molar. So the, I'm going to give an injection and especially I use, prefer a Gaugate's injection so the patient will be painless. So since I'm using a cartridge with thin needle, it's completely painless less during injection. So this is a uh, third molar, so slightly curved canal and especially the mesials are very slender. So I use going to use flexor trios for this case. So that's it, we'll wait for uh, anesthesia. I think that by this time the anesthesia have been achieved. So we'll start with the root canal. So I'm going to do a SS opening of third molar. It's having very slight sensitivity. The patient is having, but the anesthesia is very nice. There is no pain at all. Or oh, kite huh? Since he is having a slight sensitivity, I am going to give an intrapulpal anesthesia. So this is the intrapulpal anesthesia.
Now, going to use a K file, flexible NITI file. So, going to open a use the flexible NITI file, NITI hand file. So, this is 15, 20, and 25. The digital canal will be slightly wider, so we can give you a 25 for just to check the working length. I am just using different files. Open. So there is no pain at all now because the intrapalpal anesthesia is also successfully is working. So in the mesial buckle I kept the 15 size file and mesial lingual the 20 size file and distal 25 size hand file. So since the canals are wider I can be able to keep the 25 size K file in the distal canal. Now we are going to take a working length x-ray. Yeah, the working length is almost it comes around uh, 20 mm. Yes, almost 18 to 20 mm each canal. So now I'm going to proceed with a, a flexor file, flexor triose. This is yellow size file. So it's the taper is 4% taper. The tip size is 17. So Initially, I am using this after checking with the working length. So, this is a very thin file. It is also it's a very nice file, initial file. It can, at the same time, it will achieve the glide path also. So, I am straight away using a 17.4% initial file of flexor trios. So, there is a distal canal. There is a mesio lingual canal. See how speed is cutting, and this is the pulp tissue, and very nicely it is coming out. With a single stroke, it is completely achieving the working length of 20 mm. So, the flute and also the pitch of the file is very long so it can easily take out all the debris with a single stroke so the cutting will be faster the next one is you have to irrigate that is very important step whatever file you are using irrigation is very important Always operate in a wet canal. Don't always try accumulate more debris. The next step of file is the red color. That is a 6% 25 file. The red color, the second file. It also can be a finishing file. So just with the only two files, we can finish this system if you are so confident just two files is enough for a successful root canal so this is a mesial lingual canal this is a mesial buccal canal just two to three strokes per canal is enough don't overuse the file because overusing the file also causes fatigue failure. Even though the file is designed to avoid a torsional failure, 
overusing of file can cause fatigue failure. So I am irrigated. Now I am going to use the gutta parka. So this is F2 files or red color 6% 25 files can also be GP also can be used. This is a M2 GP. So it will finishing with a 6% 25 size file GP. So now you can achieve so the BMP has nicely done. Okay. So the file system, since it's an RPM, you can keep since it's a control memory file, you can keep a 300 or 400 RPM with a torque setting of 3 Newton. 2 to 4 Newton is a, 4 Newton is the maximum torque and 2 is the minimum torque. Since it's the slightly curved canal, so I am I kept here is 3 Newton and also the RPM is 300 RPM. So even up to 400 RPM you can keep because it's a control memory file. Even you can go up to 400 RPM, but 300 RPM is relatively safe. Now I'm going to obturate the canal. So the the whole BMP just to take it took only five minutes to do a BMP since it's a single canal system. Open. Hello. So the canal is now I obturated. I am going to take a final x-ray, the post-operative x-ray. Okay, that is a nice finish. This is completely, this root canal is finished with a flexor drive. So this is the advantage of yeah six percent twenty five. We have completed with six percent twenty five file. Just two files. The initial file is yellow color or seventeen four percent, and the final file is six percent twenty five. That is six percent is a taper and twenty five is a tip size. We have completed, and just with the two files we have completed. That is advantage of trios. It's a highly flexible and the long pitch. This is advantage it can easily do a BMP within five to ten minutes. Now it is completely obturated and this is the mesial buccal and distal canal are meeting there and uh, this is the final finish of a distal canal. The distal canal, the foramen is slightly 1 mm above the anatomy. So this is the foramen of distal canal, this is the foramen of the mesial canal. So this is nicely obturated and this is the SS opening, the conservative SS opening. So this much as opening is minimally needed so that you can the convenience form will be better. And that's how the very nicely we have completed the third molar with flexor trios.
pre-operative x-ray of third molar. This is the post-operative x-ray.